Hello, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist. I have the Bose sound control hearing aids, the newest hearing aids that have the most buzz in the hearing industry. I took these hearing aids and I ordered them for my grandmother. I brought them to her house and guess what? I put them on her ears and we had a little test of how well they worked compared to her traditional medical model audiology clinic hearing aids. This video was as much fun for me as it was an experiment. Okay, I'm about to go visit grandma and I'm being a good grandson. I'm bringing some flowers to her. She's lovely, she deserves these flowers and that's what good grandsons do. I'm about to drive here in my car. The plan is to get the hearing aids, hang out with grandma, connect the hearing aids to my phone, and then give my grandma the hearing aids. Now she's 92 years old, so it'll be a good test whether that product is for everyone or just some people, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. So now let's start the road trip and then we'll check in again once we're there. My grandmother is 92 years old. She lives alone, she's very smart. I traveled to her house, and guess what the first thing we did was? We caught up, we said hi, and we played croquet. Croquet is one of her favorite games, and ever since a young boy, I have been playing croquet against my grandmother. She has been crushing me. She has been beating me for most of my life. Only now have I started to be good enough at this game to beat her. And very proudly, I did beat her in multiple games of croquet in her backyard. I put the Bose hearing aids on my grandma and I started to ask her questions. How's the sound quality? I gave her my phone app and I asked her, here, use this and adjust the hearing aids. I didn't tell her how to do it. I didn't show her how to specifically change the volume or the frequency pitch. I gave her the app and she's not one who's very comfortable with phone apps. She does not have a smartphone, but through the screen, she was able to figure it out. And I was impressed by that, I must say. Now let's see how she answered my questions about how the Bose hearing aids compared to her traditional audiology clinic hearing aids. And then Jane, just talk to me here of how is the clarity of my voice when I'm speaking to you? Um, it seems very clear to me. And how has it been with your other hearing aids, the standard medical model hearing aids that I'm showing here? Um, how, how it's your it's been, been pretty good. I, I have trouble getting them in right, but when I finally get them in, it seems to be okay. What is the hardest part about putting them in? Getting it in your ear canal or putting it up and behind your ear? or getting the right angle or what? Getting the whole thing in the right place. And then tell me the sound of my voice right now. How does that compare to when you wear the other type of hearing aids in terms of the sound quality? These versus these? Yeah. I don't know. I don't notice any difference. Okay. So right now across the table, my voice sounds really clear, correct? Yes. And overall, is the sound quality that you hear something that is good? Is it okay or is it bad? No, it's okay. Okay. Very good. Is, and then how do they feel in your ears? They feel comfortable. Okay. Very good. And anything else you want to share? How about your own voice? How does your own voice sound? It sounds okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And does the right and left ear sound balanced to you? Or does one ear sound louder than the other? Is one ear louder than the other? This ear is louder than this. I can hardly any hear anything over here. Okay. I don't think this is really doing much. Okay, you're hearing more from the right side. Yeah. Got it. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to go over there and switch to the other types of hearing aids. So just try to remember what you were listening to. And I'm going to go ahead and change for the, the standard hearing aids the, the standard ones that you've already used, okay? Mm-hmm. And are the batteries fresh in these? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'm putting the left ear on. Now you're wearing the standard hearing aids that you've owned for more than a year, so mm -hmm. how does my voice sound now? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Um, it's a little crackly, but it's good. Okay. It's clear. Okay, and comparing the last ones you were wearing to what you're hearing right now, do you notice a major difference? Is there a difference? What do you notice between the two? This seems maybe a little bit jittery. Okay. But not much. Okay. What do you mean jittery? Cracky. Okay. Do you prefer this over the other one or not sure? No, I don't know what the difference. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. And do you have a copy of your hearing test here? No. Okay, okay, that would be good for us to know. All right, and then how does your hearing affect you day to day? It doesn't. What about when you're with other people? Well, if I don't have a hearing aids on, I don't hear them as well. Why did you decide to get hearing aids in the first place? I, I just became aware that probably they could make things better for me. Yeah, good. And is there anything that you wish the hearing aids could do that they don't do? I wish they'd go in neatly, and I sometimes have trouble getting them in the right way. It's hard to put them in every day and take them out because it's hard to fit them in the right position. Right. And how do they perform when you're in a place with multiple people, like card card games with friends? It helps. It helps. Good. If, if I don't have them in, the people are all talking and I don't hear what they're saying. Yeah. Okay. Good. Any last words you want to share about <laughs> your hearing or the experience today? Well, I think this is very interesting and I hope that I can enjoy improvement. Thank you. How, how about any words, any word for someone else who, who might be considering hearing aids? Well, I think that um, this kind of checking out and testing is probably a very positive thing to do. Thank you. All right. Goodbye, Jane. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's talk about what this means. My grandmother, 92 years old, was able to adjust the volume, bass, and treble through the smartphone app in the hearing aids. I was impressed because my grandmother does not use a smartphone, but she was able to figure it out. So that shows me that the design is intuitive, even for older adults who do not use smartphones. My grandmother was able to put the Bose hearing aids in her ears. So that was comparable to her experience with the standard audiology clinic hearing aids. I asked about sound quality. Now this was not a formal speech in background noise test, but in a quiet room, she seemed to hear just about as well with the Bose hearing aids compared to the standard audiology clinic hearing aids. As an audiologist, I would be very curious to see how does the sound output in test equipment actually compare between the Bose self-fitting hearing aids and the standard audiology clinic hearing aids that she got. What we find usually is that when the patient, when you are adjusting the app yourself, you find the comfortable level for how well you want to hear in that situation. And then in different situations through the app, you can adjust the levels as needed. That will provide a great deal of comfort and help for hearing. And there will be probably some benefits still left on the table. So if someone goes ahead with Bose, they might be missing out on some percentage of hearing function that they otherwise would have in an audiology clinic using the real ear measure system. However, because of the price of Bose hearing aids and the convenience of them being shipped to your house, that might not matter for some people. Thanks for watching this video. Tune in for the next video where I will have this same process of using the Bose hearing aids with my mother who's 64 years old. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. Take a moment to find the red subscribe button and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and please be in touch soon. Bye-bye.